Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Tam Pham from BotAcademy.com and today I'm going to teach you how to recreate a sales funnel, uh, an email sales funnel within Facebook Messenger. And so this is our friend John Lee Dumas and he comes up to Bot Academy. He says, hey Andrew, hey Tam, I have this free goals course to sell my Freedom Journal, which is a physical journal that he wants to sell. And he says, hey, this funnel is already working, but I want to see how Messenger and chatbots can make this even better, make my conversions and open rates and click rates even better. Um, can you make it happen for us? I said, okay, sure. And so here's a free goals course. Um, he starts off with a very introduction message, eight tips on accomplishing and setting your goal, setting and accomplishing your goals, a bonus, a grand finale, and then hopefully by the end, they'll purchase the Freedom Journal and have, have knowledge to like set and accomplish their own goals. I'm like, man, John, that's great. So let's see how we can fit this within Messenger. So uh, let me go over here. And his goal is to increase sales. The subscriber's goal is to learn how to set and accomplish goals. And our goal as a bot creator is to recreate this journal sales funnel in Facebook Messenger. But what's the best way to go about this? We have the sales funnel here. Um, it's currently a video, a text description, and a call to action slash tease. And let me show you what I mean. Let's start with day one. First, it starts off here. Hey, welcome to day one. Here's what we're gonna cover. Um, click here to watch the video. And the video links off to like a 10, 15 minute video for every single email about how to set and accomplish your biggest goals or whatever topic it is for that for that video. And then below this, this was really interesting, is that it's a bunch of text. Basically, if you watch the video, this is essentially this transcript written and formatted beautifully so that they have sections and links and all that on all that jazz. And so, um, if I keep scrolling down, as you notice, it's pretty long. I've looked at every single email, it's around a thousand words, <laughs> maybe even like 800 to 1200 words each email, and, and I'm still scrolling. And obviously, the biggest problem here is that, all right, the email is way too long. We can't fit all of that within Messenger because what works in email may not work in Messenger. And also, there are a ton of resources we need to fit. Um, as you see here, there's like um, this this Freedom Journal, the link to it, the there's some audio version of the of the Free Goals course, and also um, another podcast where John chats with entrepreneurs about setting their perspective or their perspective on setting goals. And so, how the question is, how do we fit this all within Messenger and have it convert, have it be effective? And now, this is what I want to show you here is. The first step is to put everything into sections. So when you work with a client, you want to make things um, into sections so that it's very easy and has a very logical flow. Luckily for us, John already has that section. Smart goals here, five steps of reflection, setting goals of the process, making it smart, um, and so on and so on. After you have the sections, next you want to make sure um, the flow is going to look like this. The high level overview is um, here's the intro, the button is going to go to the text version. And the the um, the text version is going to cover this one section right here. After that, they're going to click a button to cover this next section. Then after that, they're going to click a button to cover the next section, and so on and so on. And the hardest part about this is copywriting. How do we how do we minimize all the not fluff, but how do we strip this to the core so that we only cover the most essential parts every time they click a button, and um, this is what this video is going to be covering about, and I'm going to show you exactly what I did within ManyChat. So let's go right into it. All right, we're back, and I'm going to show you how to convert this email sales funnel within Messenger. And here I am on ManyChat.com. I'm going to go ahead and click Preview, which I've already done, so that we can view it on Messenger to see the actual user experience. And I'll show you step by step on how I converted this email on your left screen to the right, um, and or to the right of the screen, and so on. So here I already had to click preview. So I'm gonna see day one of the free goals course. So I've already received the introduction email, which is day zero. So here's day one. It says, hey Tam, welcome to day one of your free goals course. Here's what we're gonna be covering today. Click the image below to start module one, which is how to set and accomplish your biggest goals. I can also click this video. And here's a cool part where I think you guys would really be interested for yourself and your clients. So it says, click the button, I'm done, when you're done watching the video which if they want to watch 10 minute video, they can click that. Or if you prefer to read the lesson, click text version and I'll teach you right here in Messenger. So very similar to how this, this part right here sets them up, introduction, here's a video, and here's the text version. So if they don't want to watch a video now, 
just like an email, they can read the text. And now just like in Messenger, they can read the text. And the cool thing is that once they email, they have no choice. They either have to click the video or just read, keep reading and just mindlessly do it. Here they have a choice. They can say, okay, I'm going to click the video or I'm going to click text version. And when they click text version, you'll notice that they're more invested in learning of what you have to do. They're more connected and it will actually stick because we learn through story. And we learn through um, you know, actively engaging instead of passively reading. So let's go ahead and click text version to see the whole funnel of, or the whole message of what I've done. And it starts off with a story. It starts off with here. John and I were walking San Diego, very similar to here. And see how I summarize right here, this part into this part right here. I'm gonna wait for it to load, but there's very subtle differences where you can take the email copy and make it and optimize it for Messenger so that it's not as bulky and as long as um, as as uh, as crowded as it, is here, as it is here. So here, very step by step. I'll put it side by side. So for example, I, I'm not a big fan of this copy. Like so, like you don't really use so. So it was in January 2015. How about I just say? John and I were walking in the San Diego Bay. So notice how I just stripped this right here and also put 2015 in San Diego. I mean, I could have put January as well. Arguably, there's also like pros and cons to everything I do. But here's the, I want, the whole point is just stripping it to its core. And the, I thought was the most important part was what are SMART goals? And, though, and I wanted to be very specific right here, SMART and measurable goals. And so... Um, uh, Kate goes on. Um, Kate is uh, the one writing this. She's uh, John's partner. And she says, hey, I'm really started, excited about my smart goal of landing and doing speaking engagements along with um, growing my podcast. So I summarize it here. I was really excited about my two smart goals, number one and number two. And then here, as you scroll down, next I have to translate this. When it was Johnson the share, he told me how he had a new idea to create a physical product, which is a journal. I wasn't sold on the idea. Um, and then she did a little teaser and then um, eventually became the Freedom Journal. So how do you convert this into Messenger? Here's what I did. John surprised me when I found out about his smart goal was to create a new journal by the end of 2015. My first thought was, how would you differentiate? And then John had a plan, and then he actually achieved a smart goal by launching on Kickstarter. So notice how these four bubbles here, which are much longer, translated the three bubbles here. And I decided to make the um, editorial decision of going away from this part. She she teases them, and she has a hook later on in the further emails. But I thought that was kind of um, not not as effective. One because most people don't even read these emails, uh, like uh, every single step, and don't even remember um, from the crowded inbox. Like, oh, I read that, and I should have had a foreshadowing. Like five emails later, they're gonna forget it. And this wasn't as strong as a reason to leave it in. So I made an editorial decision to say, hey, let's strip it down to this core. Let's get right to the point so that every single lesson is standalone, um, valuable and and noteworthy, and just move on. So. Um, I said, hey, okay, let's keep moving. But notice the essence. The whole framework is just like taking this massive copy and putting it into Messenger. Let's move on. And so I can say, hey, it's amazing. That's inspiring and so on. The point of this is also um, actively engaging, actively learning um, by putting my input instead of passively reading. And so here, now I introduce SMART goals, right? Um, I say it's not difficult to set goals, but it can be tough to make it SMART. You might skip this step because of these three reasons. None of these are good reasons, but I'm gonna teach you how to, how to exactly set these SMART goals and accomplish them. And I'm gonna show you the five steps you can follow to get started right now. And so this whole text bubble right here, which looks like a lot, but in perspective, it's not that much when you compare it to this. This is at least, you know, a couple hundred, maybe a hundred words or so, or, or more, and this is, um, probably half of that and so i don't i don't think of like editorial decisions wise you want to strip it to its core so i personally do not think when i think back to our walk along the bay in san diego i'm reminded about the process john and i both followed i mean i just learned about that like right here i don't need to know about it again um, especially when it's quick and it's fast what's most important what's most important is this stuff it's not difficult to set goals but it can be tough to make them smart and you can skip this step because of these reasons. That's the most important. Because I want to learn how to set and accomplish goals. I want to know what doesn't work. Now I want to know what works. Tell me what works. 
And so um, none of these are legitimate reasons. I like that. Um, and I know you want to create success in your life. Add little emojis to add some spice up in there. And now, um, and now I'm going to say, hey, hey, look, here's how to accomplish these goals. And here are the five steps of to do so. And so I'm going to say, hey, what are the steps? And so on. And so I hope you don't take this word by word. I hope you just learn the general strategy and frameworks about taking this body of text and making it better for a messenger. And see, even little things like this, like instead of having a one here, I added an emoji because it's unique. It's different. It's actually captivates your eye. Like, whoa, what the heck? One, two, three, four, five. That's actually pretty cool. Revisit your previous goals. What worked? What didn't work? So I actually wanted to keep this. This is a very important part of the content. And then... I'm like, oh, you probably think this is familiar. That's because this was a lead magnet that you opted in for. Have you actually walked them through yet? <laughs> Here, for example, they said, hey, have you actually walked them through? We'll wait. Ready? Awesome. You know, they, they actually have not walked them through. And to actually set and accomplish these goals, not just to give information, but we want to actually help them. We want to actually solve their problem within Messenger. So now I want to, now I have a choice. I can say yes or no. Just say, for example, I say not yet. I'm going to say, hey, here's a free guide again. Um, <laughs> the guide has to go in there still. Um, but the whole point is that, okay, I have a choice. I can either say, yes, I've done, or no, I haven't. So the guide goes there. And once they click, I'm done, then the sequence continues, just as if they said, yes, I finished um, this reflection or this guide. So here's the lead magnet that will um, be inserted there. This is, hey, awesome, Tam. Let's make sure there's smart goals. So we can keep them on track and measure your progress. Here's what I put down as my 2016 SMART goal, to create a content strategy that will help us better leverage content. Sounds pretty solid, but the problem is this. Luckily, we get to choose our goals and make sure that they're SMART. So, so basically, we skip from here down to this next section. You can get to these goals by following these five things. And then I already covered them earlier, so I opted out to skip this section entirely. And now what's most important is I want to make them SMART. And so say, so I basically took this text right here and made it into this. This actually looks pretty intimidating. I think I can actually shorten it down a little bit more. Um, that's going to annoy me. Um, I can actually shorten this down a little bit more, but the whole premise is that we want to take this and shorten it down. And there's a lot of editorial decisions that you have to be um, in charge of. Like, for example, I can add this quote by Pablo Picasso, which, which is an amazing quote. It just doesn't flow in Messenger as well as I, I'd like it to be. And I think it's unnecessary um, when I'd rather just get straight to the point. So um, this is his context word by word. And then now I want to dive into what actually makes a smart goal, right? What is the difference between a really bad goal, which is what he said here, and what is a smart goal? How do we actually make it smart? Um, and now he says, I started testing my goal against the SMART criteria, and I found that uh, I hadn't even met half of them. And here I use emojis, like, this is not specific. This is not measurable. This is not attainable. This is not, um, oh, this is relevant. And, but is it timely? Probably not. Time bound, no. So it's very, it very clear of like, boom. So here I took, I took this text and made it over here. It's actually not as diff it's not as different as it is. Actually I don't think it is that different, except for a few few minor things. But other than that, with like these emojis and stuff, this is perfectly fine. From a bird's eye view, just looking at this as a whole, it looks pretty solid. And um I'm interested. I'm like, okay, now that this is not specific, not measurable, not attainable, how did you change? Like what's next? And the quick replies is just like, okay, what you know, we wanna keep that curiosity, keep that fire going and going and going. And so as you move on, it says, now I know what I'm missing. I can make these smarter. And now I go into here is specific, here is measurable, here is how I made all these different changes. But as you can see here, they're all very short um, or much shorter than the email at least. Um, I still, in a messenger perspective, say, oh, it's kind of long. But notice that we're teaching them in messenger. They want us to teach us in messenger. And so they're expecting these a little bit longer of a text message rather than a back and forth like you would with your friends. But I'm trying to write as we talk. And right here, this is what I summed down. I can't even cover this whole thing because there's so much text on my screen. Um, he had some other stuff like like re-emphasizing the points here, but I just wanted to cut that out, focus on, mo on the most important part, and so on. And you can say, for example, attainable. 
Here's one clear example of how I made it shorter. Now that I know exactly what I'm trying to accomplish, I can confirm that this is attainable. We average 100 subscribers a day. And so to say that we'll increase that by 500 per month with this strategy is attainable. That's a long way of saying, yes, I know we can do it. So I'm going to say this. Hey, look, we average just many subscribers. So getting to 500 per month with this content strategy is definitely attainable. Boom. Notice how this copywriting just made this text right here, which is so long, into half of that. Right? Um, so that's one example, one very clear example of just like taking the core essence of it, removing all the filler words, and just putting um, the most important part in Messenger. And so now the the user can say, wow, that's amazing. Or, you know, let's go, Kate. Let's, let's go, Kate. You know, good job for achieving your goals. And so, so far, I've gone from five steps of reflection and setting a goal from this to making it smart to this. So this right here is this. It's three bubbles. <laughs> and and I don't I don't need to um, say so far I've gone from this to this. I can just say my old goal. Here's my old goal. My smart goal. Boom. You see the clear difference? See how easy it is to teach like that? Um, and I'm not saying this is a bad way to teach either. I'm saying this is a better way in, in Messenger to format it so that it's quick, it's snappy. And I keep repeating that because it's so important. I still see a lot of um, our students and um, many bot creators just have these long texts. And I'm going to keep going. Are you ready to take your goal, old goal and make it smart? Yes. What's next? I have a goal. How do I make it smart? How do I do this? What you did, John, or you did, Kate. Um, and so I say the biggest reason why people fail is because they don't make it smart. And so if we know that what sets a entrepreneur apart is setting smart goals, then let's do it. And I came up with four things. I'm going to list these four to-dos um, because of uh, the action steps and say, okay, cool. How to accomplish your goals. So once you actually set up in place, it's how to put a plan in action and so on. Like looking at this again, this is actually a lot of text, but in comparison, this is, um, this covers this right here. Boom. It took a lot of editing out. For example, this thing, a unique value distinguisher is found. This would be like a differentiator between the Freedom Journal and so on. And I was like, uh, um, I, I wasn't really sold on this idea. Like I said in the beginning, like people probably already forget what they already remembered earlier. And so they probably was just skimming through it in general. So I thought that this was, as an editorial um, decision maker, this was not as important as the other parts where what's more important is this so if this is true if that successful entrepreneurs um sets them apart is ability to set and accomplish goals then we should focus on that and let's focus on stripping down to its core and finding out the real things so now we go on to 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 do's as you can see this email is very long right most of your email campaign campaigns or messenger campaigns are not going to be this long but just as a very general example i want to show you how to get all this huge strand of text and put into messenger here so set smart goals i made it into like one sentence instead of um three paragraphs next set micro goals um instead of three long paragraphs i made it into two shorter paragraphs same thing with ref reflection periods um re review periods it's one long um, paragraph instead of two long paragraphs and then number four, hold each other accountable. And that's just this right here. Oh, actually, um, that is this. I just stripped it down to its core so fast. So, for example, let's just do one thing, like set smart goals. If it's not smart, then putting a plan in place would be impossible. Accomplishing your goal is not attainable without it being measurable. How would you know if you accomplish your goal? Um, see above for smart goals. We've already just covered how to cover smart goals. I don't need a, you don't need to spoon feed me again about this. So let's not do that to the user. Let's not do that to our potential customer. So if it's not smart, putting a plan in place would be impossible. Accomplish your goal is not attainable without be, being measurable. I don't need to tell you about it again. You already know the importance of it. So I'm just going to leave it at that and then boom, move on. Set micro goals. Goals are not accomplished by starting at point A, then jumping to point Z. Um, I like that sentence a lot because that's a very um, clear statement. Goals are accomplished by a series of smaller achievements being consistently met first. So, um, actually, I can just get rid of this smaller milestones, or I can get rid of um, achievements here, um, because 
I already know the importance of the smaller milestones or smaller achievements. Um, so, so even myself, like when I look back at my own copy, I can see different ways of how I can make it even better. Which means that we're still improving. Like when you look, even like the famous authors, when they look at the book, they say, "Oh man, that book wasn't finished." But I just have to publish. I have to finish it. Same with same as when um you make it like uh, Steve Jobs made the iPad or the iPod. There's probably many improvements you can make. The most important part is just releasing out to the public, getting feedback and editing, but so on. But but the most important part about this video is that we want to strip it down to its core. And that's what exactly what I'm doing here. Here I'm saying thank you. And now, now that I know how to go from no idea to setting smart goals, to then making them to, to setting um smart goals, to then making sure they're smart with the four to do's. So this is something that I it's my fault. I should have made this better. I'm mad at myself for this. Like what the heck am I doing here? Why did I put these dashes here? Um, but I'll fix it after this video. The sky is the limit. Boom. I'll send you a message tomorrow teaching why accountability is so integral to accomplish your goals. Here you want to end it off with everything with a teaser. And then last but not least, we want to show tools and resources. So instead of this big blog of text here, why don't we just show them? A gallery. Boom. So I can click here to get a copy of the Freedom Journal. Um, my messenger is shrinked down right now because I don't want you to see all of my personal messages. But um, in regular messenger, this will look a little bit better. So I can see Kate's take. I can also see the podcast here. Listen on any of these iTunes. And what you can do is you can use a UTM code to track the traffic and track the amount of clicks that you have towards um, each site. And then I say, talk to you tomorrow, Tam, first name. I opted out to exclude the course itinerary because I don't think that's as important right now. Um, and so on. So, yeah, this is my way of showing you how to do all this stuff within Messenger. And you might be thinking, wow, Tam, this is a lot of text. And like I said earlier, this, this is much less text in perspective to the email that we were given um, or that John gave us. And also... Um, since they click text version, they're expecting text. They're expecting more in-depth content. Whereas in other bots, in other chat bots, if they're not expecting a lot of text, you want to keep it as short as possible. And I try to do that. I mean, there's some things where I could have improved on, like the dashes here, and little things like um, um, make like uh, milestones and achievements. I, f I forgot what that was. Um, like right here, I could have just eliminated achievements and just left out mile and just put in milestone. So little things like that. The whole point is just keep it down to this core, keep it down to the essence and so on. Um, this is day one of the sequence. We do this for every single day of the sequence um, from day one through day eight and then the farewell and then um, the, bonus, the bonus video, then the farewell. And we also have the introduction period. So this is actually like a 11 day, 12 day sequence or 12 message sequence where we had to do this exact same pro process. And not only that, if you notice, we added delays to every single message, and we also tagged every single message so that um, John knows or Kate knows that every time I click a button, um, they can see that, oh, Tam has gone through this much of the sequence, so that when I chat with him in live chat, I can see all the different tags, and all the different sequences, all the different opt-in that I, I came into the bot from. So this was a lot of information. Um, I, I hope this wasn't too complicated. The whole point is just taking this thousand word email and making it like 400 words <laughs> in, in a fun and engaging way. You see I added emojis here and I, I made it more conversational. I had little um, quick reply buttons saying, hey, go Kate or go John. Um, what are the steps? Thank you. Um, and so I added this cool gift here. The sky's the limit. There's many different things that you want to bring your personality into, which is why people hire you. Your unique proposition and your personality is so um, unique and different that you can bring that to the table. And I know that we want to um, write in their voice, write in John's and, and Entrepreneur on Fire's voice. And I did that. I, I saw very clearly on what their voice was within the email, and I just made it fit better within Messenger. And so that's how you convert an email sales sequence into a Messenger sales uh, sequence. Um, it takes a lot of work. It just takes a lot of practice. And so... If this is overwhelming, don't be overwhelmed. This takes, you know, we've been doing this for like a year or so because um, like Andrew's been investing in, in bot companies and first customer in ManyChat and so on. He taught me everything he knew from his mistakes and I'm teaching you everything we know from our own mistakes. So this is like, 
the prime time. Like you see me at like f up right here. Um, you might be thinking like that's not even an f up, but I think this is huge. Like I can get this point across much faster. Um, without these two words, and that little detail is what sets you apart from the great, uh, from the good to the great. So, go out there when you work with your clients. Say, hey, I can um, increase your conversions or make your numbers better, open rates and click rates better through Messenger. Let me do it with the um, for you within Messenger and within ManyChat, uh, and then recreate the sequence. Make sure that it's short, snappy, witty. Um, you have your own personality to it, and um, Put the, only the core within the message, and I'm confident that you guys will be able to create amazing sequences for your clients and for yourself. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave it in the community, um, and thank you so much for watching.